Welcome Clemson students. The Rutland Institute for Ethics would like to present the Distinguished Ethics Scholars Program. My name is Rachel Dial. I'm the Assistant Director for the Rutland Institute for Ethics. This presentation will cover general information about the program, what the requirements are, the different designations available, and how to get started with the program. The purpose of the Distinguished Ethics Scholars Program is to encourage students to engage in ethics, ethical leadership, and ethical decision-making in and out of the classroom while at Clemson. Students who complete the program at either level will receive either a cord or medallion to enhance their regalia at graduation. You will also receive a co-curricular transcript through TigerQuest, which will be a great tool to use during your interview process. Students will use TigerQuest to track their progress through the program. You will start the program with the base designation, the Ethics Scholars Pathway and then can advance to the higher designation, the Distinguished Ethics Scholars Pathway. I will now turn it over to Landon Heydrich, the president for our Change Student Organization, to go over the four requirement areas. Thank you, Rachel. Let's turn it over to the four program areas. Coursework, program attendance, program participation, and leadership. To fulfill the coursework requirement, you can take any pre-approved three credit hour courses in which ethics is the main focus. Also, make sure that a minimum of a C letter grade was obtained. Next, the ethical decision-making piece will be fostered by the program attendance area. This can be fulfilled by attending at least one Rutland Institute for Ethics program, which is just one of our hosted events, per academic year, or one Clemson ethics-related program. The third area is program participation. You have one of three options. Number one, being an active member of the Change Student Ethics Organization. It stands for Creating Habits and Norms Guiding Ethical Decisions. Change serves to create ethical programming at both university-wide and college-specific levels through bringing in speakers and hosting activities that focus on exposing students to real life applications of ethical decision making and ethical leadership. Option number two, being an active part of an ethics focused campus organization and or volunteering for a Rutland Institute for Ethics sponsored event. Examples include the following, the ethics bowl participants, the Clemson Philosophical Society. In part three, this is where the or option comes in. So you could also be an active part of an outside ethics focused organization, such as the Rotary Club. Next involves the leadership piece of the program. So one of three options here. The first option could be presentation of a poster or paper on ethics at a conference, or you could be a part of the change student organization leadership. And lastly, you could develop and execute an on or off campus ethics program focused on ethical leadership and or ethical decision making. This program is designed to allow students to receive one of two possible designations depending on how active they want to be. The ethics scholars designation or the distinguished ethics scholars designation. The Ethics Scholars designation has two requirements and the Distinguished Ethics Scholars designation builds on that with additional requirements. First, the Ethics Scholars designation. Here you will see it includes taking one ethics course and then fulfilling one of the other three requirement areas. Students can choose to fulfill the program attendance requirement by attending at least three events. At least one of the program participation requirements listed previously, or at least one of the leadership requirements. The Distinguished Ethics Scholars Program takes it a step further. Two ethics courses are required, and you will have to fulfill each of the other three requirement areas program attendance, program participation, and leadership. So I just wanted to give you a brief overview of both of these designations so that you can see how simple it is to
to get one of these upon graduation. So first, looking at the ethics scholar, first thing is your ethics course. So you want to get that one ethics course. The next part, you either want to attend three ethics events, be a part of an ethics organization, present a poster, be a change leader, or develop an ethics program. So you can do any one of those listed and you will meet your program attendance and your program participation requirements. And upon completion, you get a graduation cord. So bumping things up a little bit, moving to the distinguished ethics scholar, you're required to complete two ethics courses. You also have to attend three ethics events and be a part of an ethics organization. And you can either present a poster, be a change leader, or develop an ethics program. So meeting those requirements upon completion, you'll get a graduation medallion. And just to reiterate, you can do these in any order as long as you meet the requirements. So step four, at the end, for both of the designations, you'll get a co-curricular transcript and a t-shirt. I'm going to take you through the steps to register. Here is the link for registration, but I will share my screen to show you how to access our website and what it looks like on TigerQuest. You want to go to any web browser and go to the URL section and type in our website. And that's just Clemson dot edu backslash ethics backslash and that will take you directly to our home page okay then we're going to scroll down we're going to go to the left and click ethics scholars program here's our information you'll click here for registration it'll bring you to a google form for registration And here you're going to type in Clemson Tiger Quest to take you to Tiger Quest. Should be the first one to explore Tiger Quest. Okay, and then you're going to go over to your account. Mine's already logged in, so you'll see here you have paths right here. You'll have both. Okay, and then next you're going to look at your overall progress with online registration with coursework with also having your program attendance and participation. So it lists everything that you haven't completed and what you need to complete. So very helpful to keep you on track. Okay. And we'll just go back here so you can take a look at the Distinguished Ethics Scholars. So it's pretty similar, but again, you have those extra requirements like the extra class completion. Um, you'll see that it also includes the extra program attendance requirements you have to meet. Um, but the good thing about this, it lets you know that everything is required and what you have done and what you haven't done. So really helpful tool. Okay. And then again, your leadership roles. All right. We hope that the information about the Distinguished Ethics Scholars Program was informative and useful. If you have any questions, please direct them to myself at Landon Heydrich at LandonH at Clemson.edu or Rachel Dial at Dial2 at Clemson.edu. We look forward to hearing from you and hopefully having you join this program with the Rutland Institute for Ethics. Thank you.